Hello there, it's Yoshi Bear. In this video, we'll be looking at all the changes from Battle Tour 2022 to this new Battle Tour 2023. And also all the stuff that's been kept as well, but I'll say 95% of the stuff has been the same since last year. So I'm like, okay, dang, no, not much of a change. Could have done some changes, but hey. But yeah, the most positive change here is the number of coins you can get receiving a balloon has already been increased from 300 coins to 1000 which to be honest they should have done this since day one 300 to 1000 that's a good change we can get some more coins when we get duplicates of the balloons and i'm pretty sure majority of us would have duplicates so we're going to get a lot of coins here especially in the multiplayer pipes as well as the token shop as well because most of the balloons on the token shop is pretty much the same as last year. And here's some stuff that's been on sale. Dry Bowser and Blue Paw, which is new from last year. Last year we didn't have Blue Paw. Dry Bowser was still the same. It was on sale. So yeah, that is being changed slightly. And here with a premium challenge. Oh, no. Nah, no one cares about premium challenge. Plus, plus, plus. So this is pretty much the same as well. The rank rewards. We got the green speeder and a red toad pit crew. And of course a rank yet again, all the same. As well as this one, it's also the same. <laughs> all the same. But yeah, let me get you. But there is one slight change in here though. In the pipes, we do receive 10 pipes if you're not a gold pass user. 20 pipes if you're a gold pass user. So that is completely new. And I think this is going to be an ongoing thing. 20 pipes in total in the second reward. So that is a good change there. Good change. But then all the rewards are pretty much the same. We got this same as last year. Gold Sweet Ride. We also got the Silver and Gold Heart Bloom. Heart Bloom. Still the same as well. And let's see what else. Oh yeah. And on this one. This is also new. With the Autumn Challenge 1, we actually had 30 rubies last year. But this time around, we got a Waluigi bus driver with a different language. I don't know why it's on a different language here, which is in Spanish, which is weird. And yeah, even the token shop is exactly the same thing as last year's. We've got the same balloon, so instead of 300 coins, we're going to get 1,000 for all of this. So it's 3,000 total. And let's see what else. And as well as the spotlight, these are on sale here. Last year, funny enough, they didn't have any sales last year. So we had Mario Chef at 150 rubies. And the chocolate pretzel was at 100 rubies. So now it's on sale, so which is a good thing. Spotlight, daily spotlight is pretty much all randomized, but but I would say there will be a bigger pool here since we've got a lot of new stuff over the time since last year. And here's the green me racing suit, which I didn't have, so I just purchased it. I wasn't on the me train because the me meta is just too overpowered. So yeah, start collecting your old me's now. And there's a token that is pretty much the same. Well, since I'm here, let's do a reset, see if there's any. Lions, nah, -uh. nah. -ink. Tier shop, pretty much same. All right, so let's move on to the challenges. Yeah, so as I mentioned, everything is all the same. Ch Tour challenge one, two, multiplayer, gold challenges, expert challenge is also the same. But for the rewards on this one, total point challenges, we do have less coins. We usually always get. 1000 coins per reward but now it's been halved to 500 however we do have an additional quick ticket in each of them well quick ticket and some item tickets as well which is kind of meh but of course previously it's better it's that like you're sacrificing 500 rubies for one ticket so you, that ticket would cost one would cost 500 but yeah it's been nerfed in terms of coins as well, like I mentioned, we got Waluigi here instead of 30 rubies. And of course, for the commemorative pack, which is the same, we got the Flaming Speeder. 
But the only difference from this year to last year was, you know, the inflation. Last year, this was actually three pound fifty, but now it's four pounds or three pounds and ninety nine. And in terms of the cups and the rank as well, pretty much all the same. It's literally all the same. The cups are still the same. Still with the same ranks. Cups are all the same as well in all the. I'm like, damn, they should have at least changed up the cups and the rank as well. But unfortunately, they didn't. They didn't at all. But another good thing is they are making buffs, still making buffs, which is guaranteed. For instance, with Balloon Battle, Battle Course 1, we got Gold Mario. So you already know that he's going to get buffed up. So he's here. And Gold Luigi Knight is also being buffed here as well for Choco Mountain RT. There are one of several buffs and of course they will just keep on getting buffed over time. Oh and also last year we are now getting a bit more tickets and 5 extra rubies but I think this is more determined on what rank you are at. Because last year we got 25 rubies but one less ticket. But yeah, this might be determined by what kind of tier you're at. So this might be different on your side as well if you're like tier 10, 20, 30. But again, this was a massive update for us. So this was also when we got the player level 300 to 400, tier 80 to 99, hence what I mentioned in the tier differences, and multiplayer grades from S plus 6 to S plus 9. So there were some major changes from last year's battle tour. So there were some big updates last year Battle Tour 2022. But yeah, that is pretty much everything. So that, those are the stuff that's been kept. Those are the stuff that's been changed. If there are anything else that I'm being might have missed, let me know in the comments down below. Alrighty, that's going to be it for this video. Yoshi out. I would like to thank my amazing members for supporting the channel directly. The Hidden Beast the Barian, the one and only, the KFET. Thank you so much. And the Yoshi Barians, Brian Voice, Eri M, Eamon, Roy Go, Dark Vader, Xavier McKnight, Zane, William Frieden, Nikki Do, Lance, SHC, Dark Malgus, MKT Kid, and Pie Guy Alba. And the rest of the mini Barians. They're too mini to see, but they're, they're supporting as well. Thank you all. Really appreciate it. Really do.